So maybe I can get this thing to run right now. This is, uh, oh, let me see. Don't that look familiar? May the 27th, 2018. It is five, right at five minutes till 10 p.m. And you know if I'm awake this time of day, I got something on my brain. And it's not particularly honey processing or handling bees. It's just a little update. It's a negative update, not a positive update. So get ready, but it is something that is burning my head up, and I want to put it out in the open. I might sound crazy. Well, you can make your little old judgments if you like. Anyway, it won't be long, and I'll be in here fiddling with some of the nasty mess. Maybe. Got to clean things up. I, this is exactly like I left it sitting after the sour wood. Still a little honey in the buckets and this, that, and the other thing. It ain't no point in getting clean freak until just before you get, you know, get ready to process again. That's the way I look at it now. Everything's got a honey residue on it, so when you wash that honey residue off, you get any anything it might have, you know, might have accumulated on there. Then, then of course, spray everything down with bleach and sterilize it. That ain't what the video is about. The video is about this little contraption right here. That thing is called a smartphone, right? Ain't that what the thing is called? You'll notice the battery's out of it. The battery's out of it. Uh, that that thing right there, I've been you know studying a little, just fiddling around. It says it's 70. Uh, let me see. It's a Wikipedia article thing. I probably some census study or something other I've done. 70, 72 percent of Americans. 72% of the American population, I believe it was 72. I might be wrong on the number that I saw, but it was on Wikipedia. Let's say 70. Now, this is the population. This is not counting little babies. This is counting, you know, people that are capable of toting one around. 72% of the population got one of them things. All right, let me tell you about that little device right there. That little device right there is capable of keeping up with every step you take every word that comes out of your mouth if you're like me standing here talking if the battery was in that phone and that phone was on and it was capable of taking receiving you know sending and receiving calls whatever just sitting there dormant it could it could be sitting there recording audio sending it to somebody okay uh, every word that comes out of your mouth you might be alone, you might be talking to the one that made you, this, that, and the other thing. Every word that comes out of your mouth, that thing is capable of, of collecting it, sending it to somebody. Every conversation you have with people, of course, that's, you know, that's room, room noise. Every call you send, every call you receive, it could potentially record it and send it to somebody. Every step you take, every step you take, if somebody was tapped into that device right there, they have the capability of knowing what room you stay at the most in your house. They have the capability of knowing where you sleep. They have the capability of knowing when you're asleep based on the audio. They can listen to you sleep. They can listen to you wake up. All right. Every place that you go, they would know where you work. They would know where you go eat. They would know your most vulnerable moment. They would know if you're out in the woods. They would know if you're wherever you are. If a system were, were, were um, storing in a database all this information, if that system were to be crooked, if that system were to turn crooked, that system would have the ability to destroy any one person, you know, up, you know in, in, in the midst of a majority. That system would be able to destroy any one person in the midst of a majority and con, with the same device, con the majority into accepting the story. I'll give you a nasty example. Let's say the system wanted somebody dead. Let's say somebody stood on their own two feet. They did their own two. They, they did their own thing. They stepped on the business interest of the system because they were honest. Okay, the system didn't like them. Nobody liked them. 
their only protection they thought were to get was to get out into the you know public eye and do things out in the open tell the truth well if the system's crooked if a majority's crooked if a majority would rather see this person destroyed if this person carried one of those on his body the system would know where he's at the system would know where he's vulnerable if the system were crooked the system could say I don't know have a random criminal that's already a criminal maybe he wants to go back to jail maybe he doesn't mind going on death row you see commit a crime which would take out the person that they wanted to take out they'd know the location they would know his or her most vulnerable moment they would know when to go in and do it um, if it's the same system the same system would send ones in to you know uh, document the situation this that and the other thing put all the data together uh, put the you know put the information out news media to the people the people would eat the story you know my imagination is not going too crazy because one of them things right there is capable of doing all of that with the information whether it's being done or not I've seen some stuff that bother me. All the little round and round stuff overhead. I can pull the plug on that thing. There ain't none of that. I can be at a remote B yard with that thing unplugged. There ain't none of that. I can tell you all kind of stories, and, and, and it's, it's the truth. I, did, I don't know if a polygraph machine is worth five cents or not, but somebody could hook me up to one and run me up, you know, up against a, a, a hundred thousand witnesses. Uh, I can tell you, think, tell you some things, uh, a lot of things I, I'm not going to put out in the public, not really public. People know what's happened. Uh, in my in my family past in the last year it's been a public thing around okay but anyway I, I, I'll share the, the the illustration with you it was a month before that happened November 28th and 29th of 2016 as a matter of fact exact date anybody in any position of authority that's seen the records they would they would know exactly what I'm talking about um, but before I get to that I'm gonna try to come back to it the reason the batteries out of that thing uh, back in January Facebook started going to my head that the thing the thing just and it ain't just Facebook it, it's uh, it's everything that's tied to it it's like it's almost a nasty spiritual thing but it's linked to technology it's sick what I honestly think it is is what you read about in that last book now I'm not gonna get into any more details but that's what I think it is so it started going to my head Facebook did so I I was I watched a video that featured Denzel Washington. You can find him on you'll know, find that little clip on YouTube about so look up social media Denzel Washington or something other and you'll find where people have chopped up the clips and done this, that, and the other thing with it. And you you get the information. Anyway, he said, you know, if you think social media is not going to your head, these devices would have stay away from it for a week. So I did, and it was the best week I had. Um ever. Well, what was interesting, the first day of that, I think I started on a Sunday. The next, the next uh, day, Monday, I had some interesting things fly over this house. Very interesting things. I'm not going to name them completely. One of them chased me all the way over to the, I went over to the uh, tax preparer and whatever. The airplane chased me over that and whatever. The same one. <laughs> one of them or something. Uh, government thing, evidently. Anyway, so I took this week break. It was a fantastic thing. Um, 
I thought I had it nailed, you know. I said, well, I got this thing whooped. It ain't gonna screw with my head. I've got it beat. So I noticed the same thing again. It started getting worse and worse and worse. It will eat away at your brain. But here's the thing. It, it, it's like a... It's like a... Um, it's like a nasty spiritual thing. It's the only way I can describe it. You'll start... You... <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Uh, odd stuff. Uh, you you just start getting you just start having uh, odd experiences. So anyway, this time I um, after a little incident outside, uh, I I thought that something was tracking my GPS on the thing then. So I messed with. Um, I messed with another experiment I was going to go two weeks. And so I did. I will. I'm in the process of it. I'm actually, I'm on the, uh, on the first day of going without the phone. So what I did was, I made my last little post, and I believe I said I was going to go, um, I was going to go two weeks. Check the messages on the phone between seven and eight sometime in the evening. And, uh, go with the battery out of it so I started that this morning at nine o'clock today's Sunday um, I started the whole deal Wednesday I've been off of uh, Twitter and Facebook watching the stuff since Wednesday um, interesting situation happened see you know everybody would have thought and, and I did too I, I had I had in mind to go without it then but something tried to make a liar out of me and I ain't gonna let that happen I'm gonna make it right Anyway, the first two days had the phone on. Some of them, some parts of them. And I noticed a little something interesting. I was met by two different uh, two different individuals going into town. One of them parked right where I stopped me to bite every now and then in a little place over there. I thought that was interesting. I figured they were probably tracking that thing. And then so I set up this evening. I went back to the same place, you know, with the phone, with the with the battery out. Cause I went over here and got some buckets. There's a little little honey you can sit down and look at for a minute. Uh, I went over here and got a few buckets just in case, you know, I needed to hold some. Uh, with the phone unplugged, went over here and got a little bite to eat and parked at the same spot. And then I put the battery in it. Cause see, it was a little after seven o'clock. That's my little little deal. I'm gonna try to stick to. Will stick to. If it don't make a liar out of me for two weeks, put the battery in it, did what I was going to do, check um, text messages, whatever, I sent a text message, pulled the battery back out. Hit the road, come back, and I met one. Of course, that's government stuff. Now, it, there ain't nothing no more secure than that. If you were somebody that was protected by the government agencies that have, that are, that are tapped into that thing, if you if that was your protection if 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 that thing if if that thing were your protection if they were your protectors and they had access to that information you uh you'd be in good shape you'd be in really really good shape they have GPS coordinates on you. If something happened, if, if they caught wind of something happening, they could they could have somebody on you like white on rice to cover your tail. You see? That'd be the most amazing thing. But if that thing is crooked, maybe it may, maybe it's not crooked today. Maybe twenty years down the road it gets crooked. That system could target anybody that it were to target and destroy them, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. All right, I'm going to tell you the story. A man came by here to see me that was affiliated with a thing that I thought it was, in my opinion, that it's you know it's, it's kind of corrupt, it's kind of shady. You know, people act you know, shady acting. They acted shady acting around me when I was in the thing over there. Just funny. So anyway, this guy's here talking to me about the thing. And of course, me in a rant, I, you know, I said, look, the, the whole thing is a load of crap. It, it, it's it's got to be, what I was telling him, I said, look, it's got to be money somewhere. Something or other. There's some reason why all this shady. 
anyway, in a fit of whatever, I said, you know, y'all, the thing ought to just shut down. I mean, shut the mess down. It ain't. It, it's built on shady principles. It's just not it ain't right. It's that other thing. Anyway, I got done ranting to this guy. He leaves. This is November 28, 2016. The next morning, I had mentioned to him that I was, you know, about half sick. I had just come back from my grandma and granddaddy's down in Georgia. And you, normally, every single Thanksgiving, when I go down there, I come back home with a bug. I mean, it's just beats all. They always send me home with a present. So anyway, I wasn't feeling quite right. I was, you know, kind of groggy the next morning. I think it was about 6.30 in the morning. A thief come through here. Now, this is the next morning after I spoke my mind to this character. A thief come through here. I can see evidence where he run across my porch. He run over that of Daddy's. Stole Daddy's truck out from up under his, his porch. All right, Daddy's barefooted. He jumps in the car and chases him. Up to the end of our road, down, down that road a long ways, back up another road, and the guy run the truck up a bank. The ball joints is, you know, full of mud. You know, the boots was messed up on them, so, you know, replaced the ball joints, didn't pull it off the hill and, and uh, got, you know, fixed it. It wasn't that big a deal because it would have needed them anyway, you know, the damage thing. But anyway, we got all that straight. The guy run the truck up the bank, gets out the truck and leaves a bag, sitting on the bank as he runs across the field and, and in the woods. He leaves his bag on the bank with his prison records in it, a bottle of liquor and a bunch of cell phones. All right, now if you read into that whole thing, this guy, it seemed like to me he just done this crime just because he wanted to go back to jail. Well, this guy that I spoke my mind to, I've been out with him over that. It could have been him. In other words, if he's got mafia-type ties, he could have told so-and-so uh, that's got access to somebody who wants to go back to jail, you know, just go down to so-and-so's house and steal his truck and, you know, we're just going to scare him a little bit or something. All right. It might have been him. I can tell you that a year to the day after Daddy's truck was stolen, after that crime, I was called by people affiliated with him to go do something with something. And only looking back on it, I saw the dates line up and I thought it was odd. But with, one, with this, the stuff that I've seen line up with this right here, if something crooked was listening to this, it could have been him, it could have been his word of mouth, it could have been this one, or it could have been his, and that could have been orchestrated. That took somebody. That took somebody in the system to rig that thing. That's what. That's what my line of sight. That was not no random. I mean, people don't get. Yeah. So, like I was saying before, I got interrupted. The thing dropped the. Uh, Charge dropped on the battery. People don't around here get vehicles stolen. This ain't some Chicago or some big city or something like that. This is for years we left the keys and everything. I mean, if, if a crook come through here in the 1990s, 1995, he could open the door on anything and leave, just just like you own, just like you own it. I mean, and they never had the problem. Uh, that that thing right there. Um, if it wasn't rigged by something, you just don't flip. You don't. You don't flip a coin like that, uh, and and have stuff like it happen. The next morning after I spoke my mind to this guy, um, strange, just strange. But <laughs> it could have been anybody's. It could have been. Um, it could have been anybody's phone. It could have been it could have been his word of mouth. I don't know. The stuff I've seen linked to that little that little contraption. 
The stuff I have seen is linked directly to this, and I, I've got personal evidence. There ain't no way in the world you'd be up against if if you were up against the system. If one man were up against the system trying to prove and say, you know, this thing done that, everybody under the sun could be conned into making him look like a fool, and they could put the evidence out there that you know he just he doesn't know what he's talking about. It's crazy. I have seen some stuff linked to this little character right here. Uh, so much so that I don't want to carry it. Now what pisses me off, this is a service. It reminds me of that uh, meme that, that, that run around on Facebook. I've shared it a time or two. Uh, you know, the, the services. It's like a bull, you know, servicing cows. That's what service means. You're getting screwed. You pay, you pay, and, and I get it cheap. I mean, I, I do it a cheap way, I do it a straight talk way. But some people pay through the absolute tail of this thing right here. Can you imagine if something targeted you that you couldn't touch for, you know, for try, thinking that you were standing for what's right? trying to maintain the public eye. And you were paying through the tail for this service, and they were using this thing to screw you over, and it had its fingers in everything under the sun, community, everything else. That'd make you feel kind of foolish, wouldn't it? What it'd make you want to do is take that thing and, and, uh, and run it through the table saw time or two. Anyway, a smartphone. That is uh, potentially a very... You are not a free... Ain't this country supposed to be about freedom? If you've got one of them things strapped to your side, capable of receiving, sending a phone call, you are potentially a very unfree person. And if something wanted to target you, that's the, that's the crosshair. And it's with you. Anyhow, I wanted to rant a little bit I'm sure I might have let the air out of some people's cells, but that's some stuff I wanted to get get out there. It ain't worth five cent. It's just like, really, I, honestly, I don't think it's worth a hoot other than to maybe, maybe wake somebody up. But as far as, if that system right there is crooked, you ain't doing nothing with that, and nobody's going to touch it. And people would be too scared to touch it if it was, because it would go after them, you see. You see. The only thing people would do is be tight-lipped and cut them off, which would be, I think at this point in time in my little venture, a pretty good idea. The public eye is not what I thought it was. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I didn't have to do this. Nobody would know who I am right now except for family and a few people. I made the conscious choice to do this thinking I was doing something decent. Standing for what was right. Or something. Doing something useful with, with my life and my time. And, and if I'm doing somebody else's work, I did. It's all worth it. But that, that thing... Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. It's out there.